Hey guys, in this After Effects tutorial, we're gonna be creating this stringy title reveal without using any third party plugins. So let's begin. So in After Effects, I created a new composition with 1920 by 1080p, 24 FPS, 5 seconds long, and named it Map. I created a new white solid and renamed it String. After this, I went to Effect, Transition, Linear Wipe. In the Linear Wipe effect, I set the wipe angle to 270 and animated the transition completion from 100 to 0, basically giving us a white solid going from left to right. After this, I added the Venetian blinds effect by going effect, transition, Venetian blinds. I set the direction to 90, transition completion to 80, and the width to around 15. I added a turbulent displace effect by going effect, distort, turbulent displace. In the effect, I set the size to 150 and in the evolution added an expression by alt clicking on the stopwatch and typing time times 100. Now if we take a ramp preview, we can see these wavy lines going across the screen. I wanted to break up the lines a bit so they are not all the same length. For that, I went to effect, stylize, roughen edges. In the effect, I set the edge type to rusty and stretch width or height to around 10. Now we can see there's a little bit of variation in the lines. I duplicated this layer and renamed it SR for solid reveal. I deleted the Venetian blind effect, added feathering to the linear wipe effect. After this, I resetted the roughen edges effect, but set the width or height to around 10. So it follows the same stretchiness as our lines. I offsetted the SR layer around 12 frames mark, so it starts a bit late. After this, I added a new adjustment layer and named it OTD for overall turbulent displays. I added a turbulence displace effect, set the size to 50, and this is what we get. After this, I created a new comp with same time and dimensions and named it placeholder. And this is the comp where we're gonna put our assets like our logos, graphics, or text, which gonna get transformed by this effect. For this example, I just created a simple text layer, resized it, and centered it. I created another comp, renamed it build, and placed the placeholder and the map comp inside it. Then I selected the map comp and set the track map to the placeholder comp and this is what we get. I added an adjustment layer and named it displace and added the displacement effect by going effect distort displacement map. In the displacement effect I set the displacement map layer to our map comp and started playing with the horizontal and the vertical displacement values. We can see it's displacing it in an interesting way, but there's a problem. The problem is that the comp changes its original position and it doesn't stay where we wanted it to be. So there's a great workaround to this problem. So let's see that. Now I wish I could take credit for this trick, but I learned it from the legendary After Effects master, Andrew Kramer from Video Copilot. Yeah, I miss him. So yeah, let's get back to the tutorial. I selected the displace layer and added a transform effect by going effect, distort, transform. I alt clicked on the position property of the transform effect and typed in value plus start square bracket, then pick with the max horizontal displacement, comma, pick with the max vertical displacement and close square bracket. And now you can see if I play with the displacement values, it doesn't change the comp's original position and we are getting this cool displacement effect. I duplicated the map comp and renamed it map B. Turn the track mat off and also turn off the layer visibility. In the displace layer, change the map layer to map B. 
set the horizontal and vertical displays to 35 and 5 respectively. Also set both of the displacement type to alpha. In the displacement effect, I changed the map B source to effects and masks. And now if I add a blur in the map B comp by going effect, blur and sharpen, Gaussian blur, you can see if I increase the blur amount, we get this melting look between the strings, which looks very nice. I changed it around 16 pixels and this is the final look. After this, I dragged the build comp to the make new composition button. I added a fill effect and duplicated them a bunch of times offsetting each layer to a different point in the timeline. I animated the opacity of the last two copies of this comp, so in the very end we only left with one single copy. I added an adjustment layer with multiple glow and play with their threshold, radius and intensity to get the look I wanted. And that's it, that's the final version. As always, download the free project file and take a deep dive. Try adding more effects, experiment with different distortion and looks to make something truly unique. If you like this tutorial, check this playlist to see more title animation like this. Make sure to give this video a like and share your thoughts down in the comments. And do subscribe for more motion graphics tutorial. Take care of yourself and I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye guys.